for you. <laughs> now, here's a question. How do you feed a rapidly growing world that has limited resources? Well, the UN predicts that by 2050, the global population will have reached almost 10 billion, raising big questions over food security. Will there be enough to go around and where will it all come from? Well, one French startup thinks it has the answer. By reducing agriculture's dependence on traditional animal feed, that would in turn free up other foodstuffs like soybeans, corn and oats for human consumption rather than feeding it to animals. It secured more than a million dollars of funding and produces animal uh, feed from insect larva or larvae, using waste, fruit and vegetables. Well, Cyrene Shalala is co-founder and chief executive, uh, sort of chief operating officer at Next Protein, which is the company behind all of this. And uh, good morning, welcome. Good morning. Uh, Cyrene, it's you and your husband that, that co-founded this and, and you used to work at the UN and your husband's a chemist, so put the two together and we end up with this company, it would seem. Exactly, and uh, it works out great because we both have our own uh, skills, skill sets and um, it also allows us to work together and to live together because I was working in the UN in the field and very far away and as you know, as a professional woman, it's not always easy, so that it was a great opportunity. So to, you're both to based in Tunisia, but you also have offices in, in Paris, so you're kind of between the two at the moment. We are our headquarters is in Paris, uh, uh, but our production plant is in Tunisia. And the reason for that is that the insects that we have chosen, and insects in general, uh, they have to have certain parameters in place, which include lighting, temperature. Uh, uh, so for us, it only made sense to uh, to have our production plant, uh, plant in Tunisia where the temperatures are ambient all, all year long. So we're looking at pictures here of what, are, what appear to be bugs. Just explain mm -hmm. this for us, how it all works. Mm -hmm. We touched on it in the introduction, but how does this work? Mm -hmm. Basically, just to give you an idea of what a day looks like uh, in, at Next Protein, uh, we started out receiving uh, some um, um, fruits and vegetables that would have ended up in landfills. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do our own, it's already, they've already gone through triage, but we also you know, make sure they're clean and uh, they're the authorized uh, fruits and vegetables by the European uh, Commission. Uh, then we have our own recipe puree that we have created through lots of research, which is the optimal puree for the insect growth. Uh, we grind the fruits and vegetables, uh, we take it, we um, uh, feed the larvae, which are placed in their own uh, chamber, uh, and once they reach a certain uh, size, we take 95% of them, which are processed into uh, three main products. We have our protein powder, we have our oil, and we have the next grow, which is uh, our fertilizer and natural fertilizer. It, it sounds uh, mm -hmm. quite I expensive and, and pretty labor intensive, actually. I mean, is it, mm -hmm. is it expensive for farmers who, who will be buying this feed? And, and to what extent mm -hmm. will, it, will it help with the issue of, of food security in the future? It's going to help in many ways. First of all, uh, the, uh, the product that we are setting to put uh, on the market is very competitive. Currently, as uh, you may know, the, uh, what is used as a source of protein, the traditional uh, protein sources that are used are soybean and fish meal. We know that the fish meal is uh, uh, um, depleting and uh, soy beans are resource intensive. What we are doing is offering an alternative that is sustainable uh, and that has close to no carbon footprint. Uh, uh, and also it has a nutritional value that is equivalent to the traditional. And why resources. is this better than animals standing in fields just eating grass? What difference does it make? Well, first of all, our product uh, uh, will not be consumed by cows, for example. Uh, our, the main animals that will consume our product are uh, fish, uh, aquaculture, which, which is what is authorized currently in Europe, uh, and pol poultry and pigs. And uh, as you may know, uh, um, that's a natural, we're going back to nature. Chickens eat insects naturally, fish eat insects naturally, and pigs are omnivores, so they eat anything, and it's actually better for their health. <laughs> All right. There's so much more to talk about, yes. but as usual, time <laughs> is getting the better of us. But Sarin, thanks so much for coming on. And Thank I know for, having for you and your husband, who both run this company, the yes. new adventure starts in a few months when first baby <laughs> arrives. Yes. Yes, we're already preparing the You've succession. You've got to figure out how to run a company and be parents. <laughs> well, I will do it. We we will Come do back it. and tell us how it goes. <laughs> I will. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you Positive. so much.